welcome back to my channel and it is almost 20 20 we are sitting at 11 o'clock at night so we have a countdown coming very soon and i have this little thing not that i'm gonna keep this clip going for that long because i don't know what all i will do for that amount of time something but i'm feeling a little hyper <laughs> I guess if you will. Sorry, something went off on my device, so I had to look to see what it was. It, it was just, it. Anyway, you don't need the full on details. But in 2020, I have some books I really want to finish and start. I really want to get more read into Sea Witch because I really, really like it. And I left off on page 56, like I've said in one of my recent vlogmas, uh, vlog. And then I really need to finish more of a winter wood. Oops. I'll get through it. And then I really want to power through more of a Wicked Saints. I am up to page 100. 42 so we're getting somewhere definitely maybe finish it this weekend and then maybe try to finish the sea witch jump more into winterwood this is supposed to be our group book for december i'm so sorry i have a lot of other books i was trying to power through and i like it don't get me wrong it's not the reason why i have to finish it it's just so many other books that i started once and I need to quit doing that um, but I also do want to start into House of Salt and Sorrows for January's book of the month pick that we have over on Twitter which I will tell you the name once I get on here so I don't want to say the wrong name and then you try to look it up and then it's not there. So, that's why we do that. It is the Spook Squad Book Club, which you can find on Twitter. And this is our January TBR book. And I'm excited. And it's one of the first books I want to hopefully get through next month. And it's just... Uh, <laughs> be likey. I want to blow into this, but it's not quite to my date, so when it gets close to 11.56, we'll pop back on. <sighs> anyway, there's uh, that little fun detail. And maybe later I will announce, you know, some of the five books that I want to get through 2020, even though there's more than that, but half of the books that I have on that list haven't even came out yet, so I'll wait a little bit to do that list, and a little lazy, and I don't want to film it yet, but yet yeah, we're filming this little vlog clip here because it's almost the end of the year and that's kind of why we're filming I guess <laughs> just because we can and the reindeer readathon that I was a part of I was on team Nutcracker we represent sort of but we do uh, <laughs> I managed to get six prompts done for that proud of that how did I manage that? I don't even know. But I did. I was going to try to squeeze this one in, but right now I'm like, I don't wanna. I'll do it this weekend when I don't have to put too much pressure. And it could be one of the first books that I finish in 2020. So, you know, power to it, power to it. Um, this is what happens when we're hyper. Apparently. <laughs> Alright. I really want to start you, but I won't. But I want to. Ooh, but I can't at midnight. Ooh. 
we might be doing that. In this clip, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not <laughs> deleting it. It's unique, and we're keeping that. So, there you have it. I will try my best to get through these lovely stack of books. Hopefully over the weekend. I work Saturday, but only until 1, so not much is necessarily going on after that, so I can definitely get these bad boys done. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. <laughs> and then I also have some books in my Libby account that's also on my January TBR that I can also start. And I need to finish Queen of Air and Darkness, Mistborn, uh, Children of Blood and Bone, and then start Children of Virtue and Vengeance. And then I can start the Diviners and Clockwork Princess because that's also in my January CBR, which I forgot to mention, so I mentioned it here. My bad. Sorry, guys. And then I am still waiting. I'm waiting on Renegades to come in my Libby account soon, and then I'm waiting for the first Harry Potter book. Even if it doesn't come when I want to read it, I'll just physically read it instead of listening to it. It's fine. Uh, I'm also waiting for the Guinevere Deception on audio. And I am number four on audio. The Starless Sea, which I still have seven weeks left in holding. Like, yikes. Um, <laughs> and then the Girls of Storm and Shadow. I did originally have it, but like I said, I was going through multiple books at the same time, and I wasn't ready for it right when it came, so I'm like, mm, we're going to return it and then check it back out again, and then when it comes to me this time, hopefully I'll be ready for it. So I didn't want to put, you know, too much pressure on myself, so we did it like that. And because I'm trash and I really want to reread this book even though I still need to read book three also in 2020 I want to reread Never Night because Mia Kofia anyway that's most of my reading plans and then I also got a audiobook for Lucky in Love by Casey West I haven't really read a Casey West book before I have some of them. Have I read any of them? That would be a no, friends. No. In 2020? It's all. It's all. It's all. It's all. See, like I said, this is what happens when we're hyper and it's late. Focus. Aww. Anyway, that is all I got for now. The bathroom door closed. <laughs> okay, you guys, I will. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I am. Like I said, we'll be back close to midnight so I can blow this horn and jump on into my reading goals and I can set my reading goal on Goodreads while I have it recording so there's that little fun detail I think I'm gonna include in this little vlogging clip that I'm doing that I started randomly so yes there is that fun detail and I will see you guys in a bit bye You guys, it's 11.56 p.m. and we got this! Ooh, 57! Come on, two more minutes! And 
I am wearing my friend's We Were On A Break shirt. Cause it's my new pajamas and I love it. It's so soft. Still 57. Come on, man. Really, really, really want it. Alright, while we're waiting for those two minutes before it's officially 2020, I did read a little bit more into one of the stories that I started in here that I started this month, which is the Angels in the Snow by Matt D. L. Penna. So far, I like it. It's just... Like I said before, I've been in and out of books and I really need to quit doing that. Will that happen in 2020? Maybe, maybe not, but probably not. Still gonna be that person that's gonna be in and out of books because she can. Ooh! That was so, still two minutes. It's 11.58. I'm, we're counting down, okay? That's what we're doing. And after we're done counting down, and once it's midnight, hopefully, a good reads. I don't know if you can see, that might be too bright. I can update my challenge, my reading challenge, for 2020. Ooh. Can I do it now? Nope. But if you can see that, I read a total of 88 books in 2019. I'm hoping to get more read past that in 2020. Fingers crossed that I can. Oh, it's 11.59! It's almost time! This is going to be a fun reading short weekly Weekend reading vlog. Words are a struggle. Oh, come on. Waiting for the moment it turns midnight. Let's go. Midnight, midnight, midnight. Why are we like this? And it's midnight! Now I can put this thing away because I only wanted to do it for this video. Uh, and we can save it again for 2021. Hey! Now, Goodreads is the question. Will you let me update my challenge? For real? Come on. I wanna change it! Join the challenge. Ugh. 88 books. The gear, yeah. Okay. I wanna do mine. If you don't mind. Why? It's being mean and won't let me change it. I wonder if I can find a way around it. <laughs> Let's try it on my phone. You know it's the same app. Ha! This one, it will let me do it. That one's being a... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, join the challenge. Yes! Set your reading goal. Enter the number of books you would like to read. And 2020, it's happening! Okay. Well, I don't know why we're so excited. Since it's the new year, we're usually not this excited. But, um, okay. Let's see. Let's think of a number. I barely made it to 250 books because that was my goal last year. 
Oh, but this year we might push it just a little bit. Oh, that's a too big high of a number. You don't think I'll reach that number? That's ridiculously a amount of number of books to read. Whew. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I done this. <laughs> I think last year too, but I didn't. Well, I wanted to get to this number, but obviously I barely got to 250. Oh, if you could see that number, you see that? Oh, the phone hit the camera. Mm, apologies. Start. Ah! Okay. Zero books out of 300. You guys witness this first, so you're welcome. Okay. It is set for 2020! Okay. Zero. Oh! Fireworks! But I'm not racing outside to see it because it's cold. Alright, in 2019, I got 88 books read. And that's pretty good. Jeez, because the year before I only got like 31. Y'all hear this? Come on, do it again. <gasps> Dang it. Okay. I read of last year, 2019, I read 34,030. Sorry, this is really weird. 34,032 two pages across 88 books. My shortest book I read was 109 pages. The longest book which I reread it, which is 1,116 pages, even though my copy was more than that. It was like a, around a thousand pages. The most popular book I read was Frankenstein and I didn't really like that one. I also read an Archie comic book. I'm just going through overall of what I've read. And then of course my first review of the year was Long Way Down which is what I read the beginning of January last year. But Overall, those are all my books that I read in 2019, and it's a lot of them, but there were a lot of good ones in there. And I found some favorites, found some ones I really disliked and gave away, but... And then my last review was, of course, Red Queen, which I definitely finished yesterday which was Tuesday because it's now Wednesday 2020 eh, eh, eh. how many times I'm gonna say 2020 in this video I don't know but I'm sorry not sorry moving on but yeah here's to hoping for another good reading year and like I said I'm in between all these other books I just need to get this done or just DNF it because I've been on it since October, and I'm only on like 286 pages in. I'm on part two. Part two drags for me so much, but I really loved part one because it was like reading the movie, and I loved every part of it. But the second part, oh, it goes to 519 pages. And I'm only, well, I'm close to 300, so I have like 300, so 300, 400, I have a little over 300 pages left, but, <laughs> and like I said, it's been since October, so we need to decide what we're doing with it soon, and just get it over with, and be done with it. I really get what people mean how it's mixed reviews on Hocus Pocus and all new sequel. I, I hear you. Like you said, part one, really great, amazing. 
part two lags or at least it lags for me I don't know about anybody else but this is how I feel about it goodbye see you next year not anyway I'm going to be jumping into a little bit more of my true love gave to me see if I can finish this and count it for first book of 2020 and oh, there I said it again and then oh, Wicked Saints you know I, I can't pick up Sea Witch wow then Sea Witch oh I don't know why. Cause it's it's sticky on my book. There goes the fireworks again. Yep. Pew, pew, pew. And it's not even Fourth of July. <gasps> uh, funny. And then get like I said some into Winterwood. And I really need to like I said finish my Mistborn. I just really need to finish all of them. Like, look at the stack. The stack there. Stack here, here. And then my January TBR stack up there. And a few books I need to read there. Okay, fireworks, I hear you. Loud and clear. Happy New Year! Oh, this vlog just got interesting, oh, and my camera's tilting. Oh, oh, hey, there we are. How y'all doing? <laughs> We're in the view. All right. On that note, like I said, I'm gonna get into reading and just tone my down. You can get some sleep, and hopefully try to remember to vlog later tomorrow. So, bye guys!